Hello everyone, Spencer from Builderpreneur here, and I want to do a quick review of ScreenFlow. Okay, so ScreenFlow is the software that I use to do all of my YouTube video recording and all my video recording period for courses and everything like that. Uh, one of my favorite softwares, honestly, uh, especially because it's not a monthly software, it's a one-time fee, which as we all know, we love in softwares as business owners. Okay. Um, so what we're looking at here is is um, basically inside of a, a video that I've recorded in ScreenFlow. I want to show you real quick how easy it is to record. Okay, <clears throat> so I could easily file new. I could very easily create a recording. Um, it lets you do multiple sources. So these are like my uh, monitor here and my desktop. I can choose to record desktop simultaneously as choosing from video. Right now I'm choosing my webcam, but it can do your your you know any other cameras plugged in. You can choose audio. You can choose the format. You know any any format you want of your video. Um, and or you can record a computer audio if you don't you know if there's audio on your screen or whatever coming through you know watching a movie or anything like that that you want to record um, really just a powerful powerful software okay once you record it'll pop up something that looks just like this okay Doo -doo -doo. so what you're looking at here it basically does it with layers so ScreenFlow works in layers you can see here this one layer is this uh, video of me chatting <laughs> Um, kind of like what we're doing right now, okay? And then the second layer is the recording of the screen, okay? And this kind of just defaults. You can do tons of adjustments here. See that there? You can change sizing. Um, with either of these layers, I could do all kinds of video editing. So I could do scaling, make, you know, change sizing there. I can crop it. So if I want to, you know, cut out a piece on the left right there, I can do that. Um, I can add a reflection if I, you know, so a little cute little thing down there if I want and tweak that. Um, I can edit, you know, the color saturation, things like that. You can download filters if you're like really wanting to get into things, but that's not really my thing. Okay, so uh, really, it's a pretty cool, pretty cool software. Um, we'll look at the second layer here. I can do the same thing with this layer, right? My background layer. Um, within the layers, you know, I can put in my mouse and I can add all kinds of things. I can split the clip if I want to, you know, add something. I can add a freeze frame. Um, I can merge clips. I can do transitions. So let's say, like with me. Uh, a lot of times I want to add a little, you know, a cute little in introduction video, let's say. Um, I could put, I could click and drag an MP4 from my desktop. I'm trying to see if I have one on my desktop here. I'm sure I can find one. Okay, so I could just easily drag my intro video right there and plug it in. You can see. Okay, plug it in and I can just drag this over there. You can zoom in to your timeline there. And then it's got cool transitioning. I can go like that. You can see it's now created a little transitionary thing. And then you can choose which transition you want by double clicking. All kinds of cool transitions. Um, so very, very cool. Um, now we'll kind of talk a little bit about sound editing here. Go to the sound here. You can do all kinds of things like volume, ducking, if you're familiar with that concept. You can remove background noise, which I always do. Um, it's a pretty good job. I mean, you're, you're listening right now. So it is what it is, what it is right? Um, <clears throat> Uh, you know, really not like super powerful audio editing, but all the basic things you would need to do for a YouTube video, so or any other video that you're making. Um, you can add cool video motions, and if you're not familiar with what that means, I can make just fun things happen. So I could split the clip right here. I could add a video motion of let's say one second, um, and then you basically I can I can say I want it to start this big, right, and then shrink starts. down to over there. I made it too small. <laughs> But anyway, um, you can kind of do fun things like that. You know, make your I can make my video do this. Oops, I can make it go like this the whole video if I wanted, or do crossways, or just all kinds of fun motions. Um, okay, if you're screen recording, which this layer is, you can see it'll give you all kinds of options to like make your mouse pointer huge right there. Um, you can kind of change opacity if you want, make it kind of see through, which I don't really ever deal with. Um, and we'll move on. There's a you, you can do call out extensions. So if I wanted to blur something, okay, which oftentimes we're trying to blur out email addresses or whatever it is, right? I could do a freehand call out extension. Oh, we're on the wrong layer there. I could do a freehand call out extension. Okay, and I don't want it to be opacity. I actually want it to be blurred instead. And then look, I can just go like that and I've blurred out an email address. And you can see it's right there. I can make it as long or as short as I want that, you know, the, the period where that blur sits on the screen. So very, very cool. Um, Moving on here, I don't really use that, but you can use like annotations. So I could add little arrows or you know boxes around things, uh, whatever whatever it is that you want to do. I can just gosh, add an annotation, draw a little arrow there. Ding! Super easy to do. Same thing with text. I can you know make text boxes. Oops, I'm still on the arrow. Text boxes and edit 
coloring and sizing and fonts and all that stuff. Um, just all kinds of things you can do, okay, in this, this $99 one-time fee software. Uh, I guess that could go up in, in the future, but that's what it is right now. Okay, so that's ScreenFlow, and you can see it's just <clears throat> adding new layers. It's adding a layer of text to my video. It's adding an annotation layer. It's adding um, <clears throat> a little uh, blur over, you know, over this current layer. Um, just really easy to kind of manipulate and learn and things like that. One of my favorite video editing softwares, <clears throat> coming from iMovie, there's just certain things that it does way better than iMovie. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of iMovie, but uh, this is ScreenFlow. It's a software I use for all my video editing, for courses, for YouTube videos, uh, for pretty much anything. Um, <clears throat> I've never known it not to be able to have, you know, have the ability to do what I wanted to do. So there's a link down below if you are looking for ScreenFlow. Um, I'll get a little kickback commission. Um, but like I said, this I, I do genuinely use this in my business. I, I genuinely um, can recommend and refer people to this and feel good about it. So hope you've liked this video and welcome to ScreenFlow if you choose to go with it.